Hello. Hello. I've started my day uh, quite late today. I think it's like 12.30 right now. Not a good start. I usually don't like starting late. You know about Spotify, yeah? What do you know about Spotify? Boom! I'm just trying to find ways that I could be more productive during the day. Just find this article. Business Insider. 12. Business Insider. 12 successful entrepreneurs share their best productivity hacks. Very interesting. Basically, it's most, most of the things that I knew already, but I stopped implementing. I.e., for example, CEO of Hello Design, David Lai, is saying, set yourself up for success in the morning. So his advice is that every, every morning you wake up, go for a jog, and always try to wake up early in the morning. I know not everyone likes to do it, but just wake up early in the morning and just go for a jog. And then write what you have to do, like, you know, your, your, your schedule for the day or even your, your to-do list on a memo pad like, for each day. And then once you once you finished it, just rip it out, he says. That's actually really good advice, I would say. So I'm going to start implementing that today. I know I haven't worked it up, but I'm going to get a... I bought a memo pad yesterday already, the 2014 calendar memo pad. So, um, so I'm going to use that and... Um, and start on it today. And tomorrow I'm gonna start waking up early. Boom! Got my pencil, boom. And today is the 22nd, but obviously it's not, uh, it's not a Monday, it's a Sunday today. The reason why it says a Monday is because it's a 2014 calendar. I'm just not bothered to go buy a 2013 calendar just for, just for bloody, you know, nine days. So I'm gonna use the 2014 calendar just so that I can utilize it. I don't wanna wait till 2014 in order for me to start using the calendar. So my plan for today is work on the save 10k BTS. What BTS stands for is behind the scenes basically. And then I'm also going to work on homeless documentary. I know I've been I've been willing to work on this documentary for such a long time but anyways I'm going to start on it today. And what else? That's pretty much it. I just research on productivity. Okay, hey guys. I just want to say that I love you. Is that too much to say? I'm joking. Anyways, um, bloody hell, my mouse is not working, man. Arrgh. I hate these wireless key keyboards and mouse. Apple, make sure you invent some kind of mouse that could just recharge solely or something. You know, that would be so good. Cause with this bloody uh, mouse, you gotta keep on bloody changing the changing the uh, the battery. Now it's not working. Ah, so annoying. Let's see if these don't work. Yay! And the green light goes on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get some food now because I'm quite hungry. Abracadabra! The light turns on. <laughs> Magic. This is our security guard. Yes, people. Let's go. No, it's a Sunday. Look how huge the building is. It's huge. Yeah, as I was saying, people pay twelve hundred pounds a month on average on that building, and there's like twenty floors. Each floor does have two, two offices, two companies. You do the maths. Just going over to my local chicken shop. Hmm, which one should I get? Give me a, let me get the vegetarian meal, please. Yeah. Where's Mr. Belly? Where's Mr. Belly, man? <laughs> Why is he in the hospital? He's pregnant, yeah? <laughs> Uh, this is my local shop anyways, chicken shop. I'm 
trying to keep it healthy, so I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a vegetarian meal. That should be a bit healthy. These guys have the best customer service. They put a bit of an effort as well and put some Christmas decorations. Usually they don't put no effort, these guys. <laughs> International Food Center. Okay. Hmm, I think I might get these actually. I might get a strawberry one. Three for one pound. You see this on a regular basis. You see this like every two minutes. This awesome effect. Where am I? No? Is that me? Is that me? No, there I am. Oh, oh no, I'm there. My attempt in learning uh, Portuguese because I'm going to Portugal in a cup in less than a month actually. <laughs> Hola. Is hello. Hola. Is hello. Meu nome é João. Meu nome é João. My name is. Meu nome é Mohamed. Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Did I scare you? Did I scare you? Did I scare you? Anyways, I'm just learning uh, Portuguese, so that's so that's a bit of the lesson learnt. I've still got so much to learn; it's ridiculous. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Look at that. You know what's in there? It's um, it's egg, egg yolk, and milk. Oh, I've drunk like most of it was there. But yeah, I've drank most of it already, and I'm, I really like the song as well, actually. They've made their own version, Happy, in Paris. Pretty cool. You can watch me try to drink it. Oh, that feels disgusting, man. Oh. Yeah! Victory is mine! Yeah, bloody, I finally finished it. Ah, that feels disgusting, man. Yeah. Time to clean up the table. Super pumped, man. I just want to be so successful. But what I did was, I just wrote Define Success on Google. And then this is the definition. The, accomplish, uh, the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Hey guys, it's been a long productive day, I think, anyways. And um, I just want to finalize this blog, actually, on selling. I was at this um, coffee shop in Stonebridge Park, right next to the office that I work in. And this coffee shop, I know about it because the lady that actually started the coffee shop came into mind to want to buy the coffee machine but she didn't buy it towards the end because she thought it was too expensive but anyways that's not the point the point was that when she came in she said oh yeah I'm opening up a coffee shop in Stonebridge blah 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 oh please do come in to support me I was like okay okay I'll come in to support you whenever I can so now they've set up they haven't started the coffee, coffee uh, section yet but they've got a few things that they were selling but the lady wasn't there because obviously I knew the lady but the lady wasn't there it was a man, I think that was the husband actually. But the way he was selling the things, like as if he was super desperate. Like, yo, he was very, he sounded like he was desperate. He said, oh, look at this really nice watch that I got. And I'm selling it for only $3.99, $4.99. And I was like, uh, but I don't need a watch. Oh man, come on man, buy it, buy it, buy it for your, it's, you know, Christmas gift or something. No one buy no one buys watches these days. Everyone's got an iPhone. Well, I, I think anyways. Well, I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy a watch anyways because I've got an iPhone and I would just look at my iPhone if I if I need a if I need a time. And besides, this clock it was so inconvenient. Now, who would want a clock that does not tell the time until you click it? A clock. The convenience of a clock is that as soon as you you know put your wrist up, you should see the clock. But anyways, 
this guy's like, oh yeah, you know, you should buy it, you know, for your Christmas. Oh yeah, we also sell this, we also sell that, everything for a pound. Oh yes, you could. So I finally decided to buy a biscuit. Because <laughs> they sell biscuits. So I was like, yeah, 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 you know, you can buy this biscuit. He was trying to push me to buy the biscuit. So I bought the biscuit now. The biscuit says 99p. But this guy says you can, they say the sun was on the counter. And then this guy says, oh yeah, yeah, you could charge him two pounds because he's got a lot of money. What? I just laughed that off because I thought that was stupid, really stupid. Anyway, so I just, well, I've, I think I'll never go back in there again. Just because of that service that I had received from that shop. It was horrendous. And the guy was just trying to, he was a nice chap. He was a really nice guy, but he was just trying too hard to sell me everything in there. No, you should have things that people would buy. And one suggestion that I gave him was that, and I bought tea from there, one suggestion I gave him is that, why didn't you put your, your biscuits right next to the tea counter so that when people come and buy tea, they can also buy biscuits? Because yeah, 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 step by step, step by step. It's like the guy didn't even want no advice. But anyways, we have people like that in this world. So um, I'm just going to finalize this blog by saying it's been a very productive day. I've finished one of the videos, well, behind the scenes of the videos of the Save 10K program. And that's it for me, guys.